Hi, I've been looking everywhere for you. Can you please call me back? Are you serious? What do you think? It really doesn't surprise me. I expect it to. You know, the Chris I fell in love with isn't a quitter. A pink slip changes that. Oh, you let it change you. You're a little early today. Uh, more time to see your lovely face, Cammy. Let me know if you need anything else. Sure will do, thank you. People lose jobs, Chris. They also get new ones. They don't just give up. I busted my ass for Dawson. Three years, I didn't take a day off. Not one day, and this is the thanks I get. What about that job you were offered at? At Betatron Publications. It sounded like there was a lot of room to move up there. So... That's the problem. What? You know who gets those reader jobs? College kids. I didn't work my way up just to start at the bottom again. You can work your way up in no time, just like you did before. I'd rather live in a box and starve. <laughs> They're fast. Katie. Thanks for coming. Tough times, huh? I've seen more than my share. You know what my dad used to say? I don't care. He'd say, tough times define a man. Easy times undefine him. What does that even mean? Never mind. I don't want to know. Hey, man, you can't just sit here. I, I think what my dad was trying to say is that when we face the tough times, it brings out an inner strength that we don't even know we have. But when we go through the easy times, we take things for granted. This is none of your business, so can you just go back to your table and leave me alone? You don't really want me to leave. That's just what you believe you want. No, I really want it, I promise. I see you made a new friend. Well, one can never have too many friends. Can I get you anything? Uh, my uh, coffee? Thank you. Do you make it a habit of annoying strangers? Never. You're a special case. I'm not in the mood for conversation right now. Well, you don't have to talk. Just, just listen. My dad worked three dirty jobs just to take care of the family. Had a heart attack, 39. Just like that. I was only 16 at the time. We were gonna be evicted. So I quit school and took any job I could just to take care of my mom and two little sisters. I was gonna be a business major. And that became a pipe dream. Suddenly I turned 18 and all my friends were going off to college. Should I cue the violins? If you like. I like violins. I was feeling a lot like you are now. Alone, defeated. I was sitting in the park one day, thinking about running away. I was this close from taking off with the money in my pockets and never coming back. All I'd have to worry about is me. But you didn't run. But I would have, if it wasn't for Charles Davenworth. Really? Sat down beside me. 
lent me an ear. I unloaded all my problems on him. Told him, I just wanted to scram. You know what he did? He offered me a job at his company. I'd have to start in the mailroom. There'd be no time for moonlighting here. But he assured me there'd be a payoff if I just stuck with it. And did it? I worked my ass off to learn everything about the business. And I found out I was capable of doing things that I never thought I could. Now, sometimes we just need a little help when we least expect it. And I think I've done pretty well for myself. But I don't see a knight in shining armor coming to rescue me. I can't relate. See her? Her husband died last year. Left her with two little kids. She works here during the day and a bakery in the evening just to pay her bills. But she keeps going because of those kids. Hmm. Girlfriend. What about that company she mentioned? They want to start me off at the bottom as a reader. I didn't put in my dues long ago in college. I didn't get my degree in English and journalism to sit behind some desk reading manuscripts. You think you're so special that this company should bring you on and move you ahead of its other employees that have put in years? Just like you did at your job before they canned you? You're putting words in my mouth. Well, someone should. You're not doing a good job of it. Look, look I'm not picking on you. I just want you to know, I know where you're coming from. You think you understand? You have no idea. Or maybe I do. And that scares you. It's important that you stop wallowing in the muck of self-pity. Because things aren't going the way you want them to. And do something about it. What are you staring at? This guy. When did you come back? Back from where? No, you got mad at me. You left, and then I was just talking with this guy over that table. He was sitting here, I was talking with him, and then he got up, he walked away, and then you just, you came out of nowhere. I know things have been tough for you, but don't worry, everything's going to be all right. Look, I'm sorry I've been rude to you. And, uh, you're right. I think I should take that job. I know that I've been an ass to you recently, and I'm sorry. It's all right. Early today. Uh, more time to see your lovely face, Cammie. Let me know if you need anything else. Sure will do. Thank you. 